Today is day two for our reader model. What's the plan for today? So we did most of the prep work yesterday, which means today we get to start priming. But before we do, there's a few things we need to mask off to make sure we don't basically make a mess everywhere. Uh, so we're going to start by uh, putting some spackling on the walls just to fill any holes that we found. Even if we're putting things back in the exact same spot, like wall cabinets and, and thermostats and things, I'm still going to fill the holes anyway. Just because these walls are so thin, I want to make sure those screws have something to bite on. Once we've done that, we're going to clear the place down in here and start masking off, ready to prime. By the end of today, we should have no more brown walls left. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we make it. <laughs> this morning. Diana has been hard at work putting all of the tape up in here so we've now got the entire bathroom taped off and ready to put some sheets down and put the primer on. Meanwhile I've been in the main living area in the trailer taping around all the windows so that we get a nice clean crisp edge around all of those. It's been pretty slow going but we're taking our time to make sure everything is as tight as we can get it. Are you excited to start painting? I couldn't be more riveted if I tried, Diana. So um, I'm in the bathroom. We're going to start by going around all the edges uh, and just trying to cut in those lines as tight as I can. And then we'll go back over with the roller. And uh, yeah, these brown walls will be gone. Sounds good.
is eight o'clock in the evening. Today has been a long day, but we have accomplished a lot. We've got primer on all the walls now, uh, at least one coat. Quite a few of the walls we've got a second coat on. We're gonna call it a night though and not try and get the second coat on the other walls tonight. We're gonna do that tomorrow and we're probably gonna put a third primer coat on all the walls as well, just to even out the blotchiness a little bit more and we've got the times so we might as well. Speaking of which, we were meant to be painting tomorrow, but because we haven't finished priming yet, and to be honest, it's so late in the day anyway that we finished priming today, we want to give the walls a good 24 hours really to cure, so we're going to push painting back to the next day after that. So tomorrow we're going to be working on the priming and getting that finished off. So the question is, how much paint did you get on your clothes? You can probably tell better than I can, I'm not sure. I, I don't think I did too badly today. I wore gloves, which I've, I've learned that the hard way, um, so no paint on my hands today. But no, this stuff went on really well. I, this was the PPG gripper. I was really impressed with it. It went on nicely. First layer looked a bit kind of blotchy, uh, but the second one really kind of evened things out. But I would still say the hardest part of it all wasn't the painting, it was the taping off the walls and all these nooks and crannies that the RV has. I'm sure painting a house would be so much easier. The plan for today is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to get some more primer on the walls. So yesterday we got about one coat on everything and maybe about half the walls we got a second coat onto. I want to take it all the way up to three coats of primer. After one coat it's still pretty blotchy like you can see behind me here. The second coat really evens that out a lot, but I think a third coat will just really really make it nice and even throughout. I'm sure the top coat would cover it anyway, but we've got the primer and we can't do anything else today other than prime because we need to let that dry before we paint. So I think three coats is the plan for today. Meanwhile, Diana is going to be masking off a few of the items that we took off the walls in the bathroom. So the medicine cabinet and the shelves, as well as a few items of trim. So I can get those primed up and ready to paint uh, when we do all that tomorrow. Uh, wet rag, please. It's all right, I got it. After finishing the priming in the bathroom, we applied three test paint samples on a portion of the wall that would be covered by the cabinet. I think I'm just going to actually uh, squeeze this out. Okay. Because if I wash it, I'll um, get diluted each time. Okay. Confident but satin. Okay. You've opened this, right? Mm. <laughs> Guess so, yes. Uh -huh. I was just about to shake it. I guess I went to. <laughs> okay, last one is Confident but semi gloss. Oh, I messed up the order. Oh, well. We let the samples dry for a bit and then picked the final colour and started painting the whole wall. That looked pretty good actually. Yeah, I agree. priming all the walls with two coats and all the visible areas did the third coat. We still have a little bit of primer left um, to finish up any corner moldings and things like that. As we covered small areas with the sample, it actually looked really yellow and quite like 
dark, not really white, on that super white primer. But then we painted just the whole wall and now it looks amazing. So we have the color nailed down and now we're gonna head out to the store and buy paint. While we were in the city, we also ordered our kitchen blind. The rest of the blinds we ordered online through Costco. This morning we went to the store and we picked up a gallon of the paint we're going to use. We're back now, so it's time to get painting. six o'clock and we were exhausted after that. It was a really, really tough day. But uh, the paint has been drying overnight, which now means that we are good to start removing all of the tape, all of the sheets, and really start to see what this looks like without all that stuff in here. It really is like a, a war zone in here right now. Um, so today we've got a busy day ahead of us. The goal is to be sleeping back in here tonight. Um, so we really need to get all this place cleared up. Uh, we won't get everything installed again, we've got to put like TV back on the walls. I started with some of the outlets and things. Uh, we've still got to do the backsplash in the kitchen and the bathroom. So there's a lot of things to do still. I don't think we'll get it all done today, but hopefully we can get enough done that tonight we'll be sleeping back in here. So first I'll start with uh, painting the remaining uh, pieces like the bathroom cabinet and uh, trim pieces. And I'm going to be uh, replacing all that uh, drawer and cabinet hardware, the, the handles on there. The ones we've got at the moment are like these like bar style ones and they basically just grab my cargo shorts whenever I walk past. So finally we're getting rid of those and replacing those with some new ones. Then once we've done those two little tasks then I think it's time to start removing all the tape. So that's going to be a bit of a scary moment. We just have to hope it doesn't peel the paint off. Yep.
After removing the tape and tidying up the RV, we were really pleased with how the white walls turned out. We started on the peel and stick backsplash in the bathroom, but didn't make much progress as it was getting late already. That will be a job for the next video. The only thing left for the day was to finally bring back in the mattress so we could sleep in our trailer once again. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos. See you next time. Your shirt looks like a poo shirt. That's a really offensive thing to say about my shirt. It does not look like a poo shirt. This is my Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta oh, shirt. It's a very offensive brown colour. <laughs> it's now my painting shirt. At and least for, a, for comparison, the, the cabinets are not as offensive brown. Thanks.